Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from uh, September 30th to October 11th. I got a little bit of a win today. <laughs> I'm still integrating a lot of energies and it's still really intense, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's still really intense for me, but I started feeling really good about a few minutes ago and I was like, ooh, you know what? I think I can do it. I think I can get some weeklies done, okay? Um, so Taurus, I started getting into your energy. For those who are new to my, who are new, who are new to my channel, excuse me, um, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or someone within your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to. And it is energy, so it can be vice versa, okay? Um, and then we'll do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll go and do the reading. Sorry, a lot of throat chakra energy that I've been integra integrating as well. Taurus, I saw Frisbee. So I don't know if you're playing Frisbee with your dog or your kids or whatever, or maybe you play Ultimate Frisbee, I'm just saying. Um, but I felt this energy of like pinch, pinching, pitching, launching. Um, some of you guys could be pitching ideas at work or pitching an idea to someone. Oh, I, <laughs> I just heard harebrain scheme, okay. <laughs> okay, Taurus, um, whatever it is that you're trying to launch or trying to pitch, some of you could be launching a business uh, upcoming in October or just launching or expanding something that you already have, but it definitely feels like trying to sell something. Like trying to sell an idea to somebody, trying to pitch an idea to somebody, trying to get something off the ground here, trying to get something up and going, up and started, okay? It could be a relationship, could be a business idea, could be expanding your business, or could you just be trying to convince someone to do something, okay? Keep in mind, someone could be doing this to you, okay, Taurus? It feels really positive, though. I can feel you're excited about it. I also feel that you've been kind of holding back on it for a while, Taurus, whatever it is. <clears throat> Uh, excuse me, um, where it's kind of been on your mind for a while, you've been tweaking at it, tweaking at it, whether you've just been kind of marinating on it, trying to get it perfect in your head before you launch it, or you've actually been actively working on it and being like, hey, you know what, you want to do it? Oh, good, it's already done. <laughs> Some of you are definitely doing that, where it's like, you're not waiting for their approval, you're just doing it, and then it comes to the day where you're like, all right, well, now I can tell them, and then you tell them, and it's like, oh, it's already done? Oh, okay. Think of how much time we just saved. I don't know why that just came to me, but it just did. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle here. <sighs> Keep in mind, pre-shuffle does not always pertain to the reading. It usually does, but it doesn't always. Sometimes they're extra messages, so stick around if the pre-shuffle doesn't resonate for you, okay? And it's not going to resonate for everybody anyway, because it is a general. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. September 30th to October 11th, please. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. September 30th to October 11th. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, September 30th to October 11th. Mm. Yeah, Taurus, you're just really excited about this. Whatever it is, that, whatever this idea is, or project, or pitch, whatever it is, you're excited. You're definitely excited. For some of you, it is also just communication. Mm. For some of you, it is also just communication. Like, should I reach out to that person? Is it time to reach out to that person? Is it time to say that thing I've been needing to say? There's a, That's also that energy for some of you. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus. For Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, oh, what animal is that? What animal is that? Oh, um, a moose. That's what that is. It's like, it's not an elk. It's too big to be an elk. It's a moose. It's a moose. Why? Are they, okay, they're showing me a moose. That's interesting. I've, they've never shown me a moose before. Um, I don't innately know what the spiritual meaning is behind that, but intuitively, it feels kind of like a watch guard, actually. A little bit like a watchman energy. Like a protective energy, but like just sitting and watching. Sitting, watching, protecting. Uh, Taurus, you could just have your guides around you at this time. I feel like for some of you, you are very protective over someone. It doesn't feel like something. It feels like someone. Yeah, some of you are wondering if you should reach out to someone that you've been keeping your eye on for a while, someone you feel protective of. This could even be your own children. I'm getting a, a fatherly energy for some of you. I am getting a fatherly, grandfatherly energy for some of you. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm getting like watch guard. 
watch guard, watchman. For some of you, whatever idea you're pitching or whatever it is you're trying to launch, um, I do feel like it's with another person that you either feel protective over or that you know that they can come in and provide protection over you and whatever it is your idea is, okay? Interesting. Some of you could also be hiring a lawyer. I don't know why that just came in. That just came in really strong. Some of you might be hiring a lawyer for something. <clears throat> Please be... Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> the star. Oh, I love it. Aquarian energy, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment, hands down, getting what you want, making your dreams a reality. Oh my God, totally Taurus. Whatever it is you're pitching, whatever it is you're throwing out there, you're chasing your dreams and you're gonna get it. You're chasing your dreams. You're not settling for anything less. You're chasing your dreams here. But God, even when she's looking up at the sky, right? Oh, focus. That's a little bit better. Yeah, even the way she's looking up at the sky like that, you're making your dreams a reality. I like it, Taurus. I like it. Keep in mind, like I said, it can't be vice versa. So someone could be looking at you like you're their dream. <laughs> Trying to make you a reality in their life. It could also be that. Three of Cups. Taurus, <laughs> I'm excited for you. Cancerian energy. This is celebration. Celebrations of wishes coming true, dreams coming true. Oh, I love it. I so freaking love it. Uh, for those wondering about reconciliations, it could also be that too. But I feel like, I feel like someone's getting celebrated. Someone's celebrating or getting celebrated because wishes are coming true. Dreams are becoming a reality. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see here. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. A lot of you have also recently um, found your true soul tribe. I like that. Your true soul tribe. They want me to say true. Maybe you thought you found it, realized you didn't. Your, your true soul tribe. Why is that hard for me to say? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Some of you are feeling really on top of the world with this. Ooh, but then we got an Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Wow, Taurus, because whatever this dream is that you're chasing down or you're celebrating or trying to pitch and make a reality, some of you did lose faith at one point. Some of you did lose faith at one point if it was ever going to happen. But now that it's happening and it's like right in your reach and you're seeing it come to fruition, you're like, Oh man, why was I, <laughs> why was I not feeling so sure of myself? Why was I not feeling so sure of myself? It feels good though, Taurus. It feels good. I also feel for some of you, this is about a love lost. <laughs> Excuse me, or or a lost dream. You know, some of you, whatever it is that you're making a reality, for some, it could be an old passion that you lost hope on a long time ago, and this is kind of like your second chance at it, or you know, second go at a person. Any other messages of truth, thing, and love to come forward, please, for Taurus, for those who need it? For those who need it. Taurus, Summon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, we got a Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Someone is very attractive. Very, very attractive. Taurus, I feel like this is, yeah, I feel like this is like your, <laughs> interesting. This is part of the person you're pitching to. Thank you. Yeah, this is the person you're pitching to. For some of you, the person you're pitching to is about a relationship and they think you don't really give, give a shit and you're surprising the hell out of them being like, oh no, no. Oh no, we're making this a reality. <laughs> yeah, Taurus, honestly, for some of you, keep in mind it can't be vice versa. Uh, you're pitching an idea of a relationship or some kind of wish fulfillment or some kind of celebratory thing that makes you really happy to someone who lost hope on you. Wow. See what else we have here please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it yeah i'm really feeling strongly this is someone who lost hope on you taurus for the pitcher we'll say for the pitcher the person who lost hope on the pitcher dreams coming true i love it that's such a way to start out a reading all right i'm feeling like the, the deck is fairly calibrated and give it another little go oh just as i said that magician mercurial energy virgo gemini could also be aquarius scorpio from music reader divine masculine energy what did i say making dreams a reality making dreams a reality making shit happen sun at the bottom of the deck taurus <laughs> taurus i'm so excited i'm so excited for you let's go ahead and get into um the re the reading 
<laughs> the reading itself. For those who are who, I can't speak, I'm so sorry. My throat chakra is going through a lot of uh, upgrades right now. A lot of energy is being integrated, so my speech is going to be a little funny, okay? Um, for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these are very general messages. Not all messages will resonate for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So if it's not your message, it's okay. You can check out any other reader. There's plenty of them on YouTube. Um, also, guys, we are working with energy, so just know messages can be reversed or vice versa. I just sorry, I just got to show you. Hangman with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, someone's chasing their dream for damn sure. That's a lot of happiness and love right there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay? All right. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> My guides literally just gave me a message to do something later for you guys. I had a crazy experience last night, and I think it's going to help some of you. Hold on. I might do this live. Uh, on... Almost done. Sorry. When they ring me, they ring me. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> also, guys, uh, the time frame of the video is just for organizational purposes. Time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. If you go and look at any of my other playlists and something calls to you, you should probably watch it. Okay? So there's a lot of timeline changes we got going on. Any messages for Taurus regarding love from September 30th to October 11th? Any messages for Taurus regarding love September 30th to October 11th? Okay, that feels good. Any messages for Taurus regarding love September 30th to October 11th? I feel like some of you guys are asking me, yes, yeah, so this can apply to more than just romance because essentially every reading is a love reading. For those who have any other questions like that, please check out the link below for how to interpret tearings as a viewer. It will answer a lot of your questions. Okay. Ooh, we got seven of pentacles in reverse. Oh, you're restless, Taurus. You're restless. Taurian energy, actually. Uh, you're so restless, Taurus. You're restless to make this shit happen. It's like you can taste it and you want it, it's time to make it a reality. I love you, Doris, I love you. Calm down though, <laughs> it'll happen, it'll happen. You're, you're very, very restless to make it happen. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th? Any messages for Taurus? Oh, don't get quiet on me now, Taurus. Is that all you want to tell me is that you're impatient to make it happen? <laughs> it's so Taurian. It's so Taurian. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th? Oh, interesting. Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. It's something that you can't let go of. Emotionally, you can't let go of it. You got to make it happen. You got to make it happen. It's like, no, if hands are what's about it, it's got to happen. <laughs> you're so restless, Taurus. It's okay. <clears throat> Any messages for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th? And like I said, for some of you, this is also about a return to a lost love or a lost opportunity in love or someone who's someone who lost hope on you. I'll put it that way because that's a really more accurate way to say it. For some of you where this is a romantic situation where you're trying to like make something happen with someone, they lost hope that you would actually do anything about it. Any messages for Taurus? Ooh, Taurus, a two card reading. Okay. Overall energy, we have the nine of wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we've got the emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy, which I gotta say, not to be such a girl, but that is like quite a masculine card, I just have to say. Just have to say, I just had to point it out. Anyway, so Taurus, this is your overall energy. I love that the Nine of Wands is in reverse, okay? Because it tells me that it's like, you're putting down your uh, any like doubts that you might have about something. Nine of Wands can be a very mistrusting energy. It can be an energy of like, I'm guarded and I'm being pushy because I don't think this is actually gonna work out or I don't trust this or I don't trust that. So I'm just gonna be pushy until I get shit done. It's putting that energy down 
it's putting that energy down i feel like whatever it is that you are wanting chasing pitching it's really pitching right whatever it is that you're pitching taurus i think you've had a lot of like self-doubt about it i think you've had a lot of self-doubt about it and it's time to put that away and you know it's time to put that away and i feel like the second you do that you're gonna have the confidence to realize oh now's the time let me go in for the kill let me go in and pitch this let me go and see if this is gonna work out right because it's you're not letting it go you're not and you're really anxious to get it going okay you have a two card reading taurus i can't believe it okay let's look at seven of pentacles in a verse at your anxiousness your restlessness here mm. them work is calling me actually let's do it Can I have a seven of pentacles in reverse tell me about the seven of pentacles in reverse for taurus hi seven of pentacles in reverse for taurus <clears throat> excuse me so i have the seven of pentacles in reverse for taurus regarding love september 30th to october 11th so i have the seven of pentacles in reverse for taurus regarding love september 30th to october 11th one more I feel a lot of stubbornness with this Taurus, which is interesting because you're restless to make something happen. I don't think you're being stubborn about it. Excuse me. I needed a little caffeine. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> um, but what's the stubbornness I'm getting from you? This is kind of weird stubbornness, Taurus, because usually you're like stubborn in like the, the strong head way, right? Again, no shade. It's, one, it's actually one of your best qualities. For many reasons it's how you get shit done um <clears throat> excuse me um but the stubbornness it's almost like the way it has to be done is how you're being stubborn about it which i think is why you have taken your time because it's like if it can't go the exact way i want it to go i'm not doing it and i think that's where the self-doubt kind of crept in but you you've dealt with that you've dealt with that so i have seven of pentacles in reverse too many Play with seven of pentacles in reverse for taurus mm. play with seven of pentacles in reverse for taurus regarding love september 30th to october 11th seven of wands <laughs> stubborn <laughs> sorry leo energy got two sevens here out of five cards two of them are sevens i consider that synchronistic um yeah it's, it's got to be your way or the highway that's what i'm getting with this it's very clear it's like you've you put a lot of time and thought into this um and you're like no it definitely has to be this way it's got to be this way this is the only way it's going to work for me this pitch has to go this way i've worked worked out all the details and it's time and this is the, how it's going to be this is how it's going to be you're not going to let anyone convince you otherwise either and especially if you're chasing down a person like or a relationship like romantic wise um you're gonna be very um <clears throat> i'll just say persistent to sugarcoat it Ooh, ten of wands sag energy here oh this has kind of become a little bit of a burden for you taurus because you've been sitting on it for a while the fact that you've had having to sit on it because it has to be perfect it feels a little perfectiony it feels almost virgo-y to be honest with you like like a taurian virgo maybe you have both of those in your chart not necessarily but it's kind of how that feels it's like working out every little fine detail to, to perfection and sitting on it until it's the right time and needing it to be your way or the highway has actually become a little bit of a burden for you which is also why you're very anxious to just get it done interesting so i have seven of pentacles in reverse Ooh, the devil in reverse capricorn energy oh my what is this i did not expect that i did not expect that um you know it's funny i think this is you actually trying to get rid of that self-doubt energy that i was picking up on because it had to be perfect every detail of it had to be perfect to the point where it was making you crazy taurus where it just, and it started to let self-doubt creep in of like well if it has to be this way what if it doesn't work out that way and what if what if what if what if what if you, you got to get the devil out of that. And once you do that, I think you're going to push forward with this because then you're going to have that confidence to be like, I can do it. Oh, shit. Ten of swords in reverse. Gemini energy. My, 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 my. Two sevens and two tens, Taurus. This has been really stressful for you. No wonder you're anxious to get this over with. 
sitting with this, having this on your mind, on your chest has been a burden because it's just like, it's been too long. It's been too long and you want it too much. Not too much. You just, you just really want it. <laughs> you just really, really want it. But you put an end to that devil energy that was either keeping you from jumping into this opportunity or launching this opportunity because there was self-doubt attached to it. Or there was something about this that was almost, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, what's the word I'm looking for? When we hold on to something really tightly, sometimes it can become toxic. Obsessive, thank you, thank you, spirit. Obsessive. Taurus, I'm picking up on two different scenarios here for you guys. Some of you held on to it too long to where it became obsessive. You're doing away with that obsessive energy to move forward with it. Others of you, it's like this this energy of needing everything to be freaking perfect. Sorry, I'm trying not to cuss as much. I'm trying, I'm working on it, I'm trying guys. Um, for everything to be absolutely perfect, started making you doubt yourself that you could actually pull it off. You're getting rid of that. You're getting rid of that monkey off your back. And as you should, it doesn't serve you. Look at the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Look at the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th. <laughs> that Eight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy, yeah. This is something that you have a lot of, like, you know it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. You know it's going to bring you a lot of joy. Whatever this pitch is that you're working on, and you're not letting it go. You're not. And if it's a person, you're not letting them go. Overall energy, is this the nine? Yep, the nine. Nine of wands in reverse, double confirmation there. So now we have two nines, which is Sag energy. We've got two nines, two nine of wands in reverse, two eight of cups in reverse, two tens, and two sevens. Taurus. Synchronicities everywhere, Okay. You're not letting this get away. You're done with the self-doubt. You're done with trying to make it stu stupid perfect. And you're also done obsessing over it because obsessing over it wasn't doing you any good. It wasn't doing you any good. Let's look at the Eight of Cups in reverse and then we'll pull some Oracle cards. I can't, I know it's gonna be a short reading. There are only two cards out here for your spread. Uh, yeah, let's do Rider. Let's do Rider, wait. So I have an Eight of Cups in reverse. Talking about Eight of Cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th. Talking about Eight of Cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th. Talking about Eight of Cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th. Talking about Eight of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles, <coughs> excuse me. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. So for some of you, like I said, this is like a pitch for a business idea. Some of you could have been struggling financially and you're about to be elevated in your finances. Even if you weren't struggling financially, you're gonna be elevated in your finances if this is relating to business, okay? Others of you, this is just about not feeling lonely, not feeling a lack, not feeling struggle, not feeling like you're struggling. You're tired of feeling like you're struggling with this. It's been on your mind for a long time. You're ready to pitch it. You're tired of obsessing over it. You got rid of that, that obsession. You got rid of the self-doubt that came along with it. And you're freaking ready. And you're holding on to it because it's really, really important to you. And you're, you're ready to pitch. This is you being ready to pitch. Okay? Oh. Oh, Taurus. Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy with the eight of wands, Sag energy. We now have an emperor and empress in reverse. This is the person you're pitching to, the Queen of Wands energy. It's interesting that you're both in reverse. Excuse me. But then we have the Eight of Wands, communication and a hell of a lot of forward movement. It feels fast. They actually just, oh, okay. They just showed me the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. We'll see if that comes out, but they just showed that to me. That's a lot of movement. Her chariot, that's a lot of movement. That's a lot of movement. Things are gonna move really quickly once you pitch. Once you pitch to this person, whatever the idea is, whatever the project is, whatever you want to say to this person, whatever the relationship is that you want to pitch to this person, it's bringing you out of a place of lack, bringing you out of isolation, bringing you out of scarcity, okay? Bringing you out of the struggle. Hold on. Clyde? Clyde. I heard him messing with stuff. Anyway, um, 
bringing you out of the struggle of holding on to this idea, <laughs> holding on to this pitch, okay? But it's interesting you're both in reverse because that tells me that this person, mm, hold on, let me tap into this person really quickly. This person has a lot on their mind, whoever they are, Taurus, to you. You definitely know them. You've definitely spoken to them. They're not a totally new person. Like, you know this person. Um, if they are a newer person, you definitely got a hell of a lot of past lives, okay? But this definitely could be business related. Since you both are emperor and empress here, could definitely be a business idea you're trying to pitch. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But with the empress universe, I'm getting this person has a lot on their mind too. You've been holding on to this pitch, this idea, whatever it is. They've been holding on to something too. They've definitely been holding on to something too. Let's see what else we got. Come with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Ooh, Page of Pentacles. There's the offer. There's the pitch. Hold on. There's the pitch, Taurus. The pitch of the idea, the phone call, the invitation, the invite out for a date, whatever it is. There's the pitch. Very sincere too. People knock pages. Because like, oh, it's a page, it's naive, and it can be naive, but they're genuine. They get children, right? They're genuine. Very, very genuine, very authentic. Can I have Eight of Cups in reverse? Can I have Eight of Cups in reverse for Taurus? Can I have Eight of Cups in reverse for Taurus? Why am I hearing Vedic? Why am I hearing Vedic? Um, for some of you, this could be like a, a Taurian Vedic placement for you. I don't know why they told me Vedic. I mean, that, that would definitely apply to almost any reading. Maybe some of you needed that confirmation. So I'm at Eight of Cups in Reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 30th to October 11th. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Oh, wow. Six of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian energy, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. But then look, we got an Ace of Pentacles. I like that. This is the end of your struggle, Taurus. The end of your struggle of sitting with this, whatever this pitch is to you, whatever you've been wanting to do, try not to obsess with it, getting rid of that devil energy out of it, because that doesn't serve anybody, right? That doesn't serve anybody. Um, getting rid of your self-doubt because you're holding on to this person, holding on to this idea, holding on to this pitch, and you're going to make it happen, and you're ending your struggle and giving yourself that opportunity. There's your pitch. There's that pentacle. That's the pitch. And like I said, for some of you, it's a relationship. Some of you, it's a business idea or just a project or just an idea you have between you and friends, right? Between you and this empress. But I got to say, guys, emperor and empress, as the only two court cards in your reading, other than your actual offer to pitch this idea to this empress, this is like, that's a duo. <laughs> that's a dynamic duo right there. And so from two different decks, no less, okay? Um, and both of these cards are Torian to me, just saying that. I feel like I had to emphasize that for you guys. Um, but this is like the epitome of a uh, power couple, alpha couple, business owners, business partnerships, or like, a, you know, a wife and husband running something together. The epitome of that. Okay. The epitome of that. Emperor and Empress also has a lot of shit under their belt. They know what they're doing. They know themselves. They know themselves. I like it, Taurus. It looks juicy. It looks real juicy. Okay. Um, considering how, you know, this is such a short read. Let's have some fun with some Oracle decks. Let's have some fun. Um, we'll do Soul's Journey. I've quickly fallen in love with that deck, by the way. The Soul's Journey deck. Let's see if Spirit has anything else they want you to be aware of. Anything you want Taurus to be aware of regarding this spread? Hmm. Anything you want Taurus to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want Taurus to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you, oh jeez, come on. <laughs> Almost talking too much. Anything you want Taurus to be aware of regarding this spread? I love this energy though, Taurus. I love it. I really do. It's so Taurian. So Taurian. Anything you want you want Tauruses to be aware of regarding this spread? Hmm. Anything my Taurians should be aware of regarding this spread? I just heard castle. Hold on. I don't know. I took my glasses off. Just felt necessary. Castle. 
my castle. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, this has got to be for like one or two people needing confirmation on who this is for you. Uh, the king has built his castle. <laughs> the king has built his castle. Okay. Maybe some of you guys were building a house. And maybe now that it's built, you like want to, you know, share it with someone. Oh, oh, Taurus, success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Ooh, I like this. Um, my emperors, my emperors who are watching this, who are doing the pitching, because it's definitely the emperor doing the pitching here. <clears throat> I feel a lot of ego work ego healing with this um also real life okay wow i'm getting a whole big fat download i'm picking up on some emperors here who are resonating with this reading who have spent a lot of time focusing on money a lot of time focusing on money focusing on luxuries focusing on the three-dimensional stuff and realizing that that really doesn't satisfy you realizing that there's really no love in that and that actual happiness follows love purpose follows love happiness follows love so you threw yourself into oh it's so funny purpose spirit playing jokes on us I, I seriously did not even see that until i looked down i was like oh purpose <laughs> um purpose follows love happiness follows love being content in life follows love so emperors i'm I'm, I'm talking to some emperors here who've done some ego work some ego healing i don't refer to ego death i refer to it as an ego healing because we need our egos in the third dimension we need them um not not the place and time to explain why um and you realize that it's like shit i've been chasing the wrong things i need to chase what i actually love so this like i said for some this is just a business proposal because it is a pentacle a lot of pentacles here and fire some of you are chasing down the the business you've always wanted to run or being in a career you've always wanted to have or building that home you've always wanted or chasing the person that you love shit emperor to the empress are you kidding me um <laughs> And you know that that leads you to success. That leads you to your purpose. Actually, just to read it. I know what I am here to do. Let's see what else we got out here. Anything else that my Torians to know? Ooh, I, is that not a Torian word right there? Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Getting rid of that self-doubt. Taurus, I love you. This is such an awesome reading. Getting rid of that self-doubt that was getting in the way of you pitching this idea. Because you wanted it to be perfect. And then you weren't sure you can make it perfect. And then you were doubting yourself. And why doubt yourself? There's no point in doing that, right? You can make whatever you want happen, happen. So once you work on that doubt, others, it's working on that obsession, right? Because you're getting so enthralled with it. And going ahead and pitching it. Because at the end of the day, if you're pitching something you love or have love for, you will be successful. And it looks like it's working out beautifully. Let's see what else wants to come out. And then we'll get some advice from this for an animal deck. Anything else you want the Mytorians to know regarding this spread? Anything else you want Mytorians to know regarding this spread? Oh, oh, I'm picking up on some emperors too that are have battled their addiction. Congratulations, whoever that's for. Ooh, this is kind of a big one. On the bottom we have who trust. Mm. <laughs> I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly as long as it's healthy right as long as it's not your ego that you're you're listening to that self-doubt that you're listening to but knowing where your own knowing where you belong oh this is deep three 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 the baby <laughs> 33 33 as i said that knowing where you belong and trusting how that feels as well you know and Trust is a funny thing. I was, just, I was literally just talking to someone today about trust issues. Um, we've all got trust issues in some way, shape, or form that we got to work through, right? And trusting ourselves can be hard sometimes, especially if you've been through, like, abusive relationships or the like, um, or you've had, you know, your trust broken by everyone, right? It's kind of hard sometimes. Um, but knowing what's right for you by listening to yourself and what feels right. And what do I mean by that? Excuse me. Sorry. What I mean by that is, you inherently are happy when you are in the place where you belong. When you're around the people you, be you belong to. You're not, your real, true soul tribe. It feels right. You feel at home. You feel at home. And that's the big difference. Like, I'm sure a lot of people go, like, how do I know? How do I know how to know? If you feel uncomfortable in any capacity, anxious for whatever reason, 
any of that shit when you're around someone or around a group of people or at work and you're just like you're not comfortable you know you're not happy you're not in love with the environment or the people or where you are that's trusting yourself to be like okay something needs to change it's inherent you just feel it you just feel it okay and i know that's kind of hard but an emperor is learning that an emperor is learning that here i also feel like trust is for this empress too I don't know why I feel like this, like I said, I feel like this empress has a lot on their mind. You know what? Actually, let's look into this empress a little bit. This empress has a lot on their mind. And then we'll pull advice. Mm, he's gilded for this one. Tell me about this empress in reverse. What, what is going on with this empress? Consu consumed. This empress is consumed by something. What is this empress consumed by? What is this empress consumed by? What are they preoccupied by? Where's their head at? Tell me about this empress in reverse. What are they consumed by? Where is their head at? I just heard career, okay. Oh, that's funny. That's funny because I do feel for some of you this is a business proposal. <laughs> so you could be a business owner, this person could be a business owner and they could have just work on the brain because they're consumed by something, I can feel it. Tell me about the empress in reverse. No. Tell me about the Empress in reverse. Tell me about the Empress in reverse. For Taurus. Regarding love. September 30th to the October 11th. What is consuming this Empress? Also just heard the mind. Okay. Would not be surprised if we get a Nine of Swords for her. Or him. It's just energy, not gender, right? Talk about the Empress in reverse. Oh, the sun. Leo energy. Oh, and Ten of Cups at the bottom. This Empress is thinking about her happiness. But I feel like they're consumed by it. I think this Empress is in the midst of just having a lot of shit on... I'm going to say her because it's a feminine energy. But like I said, it can't be a guy. Um, this Empress has a lot on their mind. A lot. And I did hear a career. Um, about what's going to make them really happy. And I feel like this empress is almost like, are they confused? Oh, no losing hope, okay. They're not confused on what they want. They know what they want. Oh, this is kind of sad. Oh, this person's heart chakra is really like hurting. They just wonder if they're ever gonna get it. No wonder they're in reverse. That's not a manifestation energy to be in. Um, this person knows what makes them happy. They know who would make them happy. They know what would make them happy. They know what they want. Like I said, Emperor and Empresses know what they want. This person just thinks they might not ever get it. Wow. Oh man, that, that hurts. Tell me about the Empress in reverse. <laughs> Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. There's some mirroring going on here. There's some mirroring going on. Definitely some counterpart energy going on here. What would make them happy is to not feel like they're struggling, to not feel like they're struggling to get their happiness. Because I'm telling this empress knows what they want. They know what will make them happy. They just feel like they can't attain it. And at the same time, this emperor is struggling because they know what they want. They just have to go and get it. But self-doubt and all that was getting in the way. Yeah, there's some bearing going on here for sure. Let's see what else we got. Tell me more about the empress in reverse. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth and Fire. I feel a slow build with this. Yeah, a slow build. <laughs> Some of you, like I said, <clears throat> are chasing down a relationship, okay? A romantic relationship with someone who's lost faith. What they want is for you to come in, emperors. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just crazy. There's total mirroring going on here. Total mirroring. Um, others where it's like they know that like business wise or like in their stability or family life, they know what they want. Um, they want to build towards that slowly, but they still have this energy of like, I don't think I could ever have it. King of Wands, what did we get earlier? The Queen of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. This person wants a perfect partner in business or in love or family, right? Um, but that's what they want. That's what they know they want. Because an empress, empress can rule all bad by herself. They can. But an empress usually does go hand in hand with an emperor. They don't have to, but it definitely, it definitely amplifies what can be had. 
as far as abundance is concerned. And this person already knows, I want my perfect mate to come in. in business, my perfect mate in business, my perfect business partner, or my perfect romantic partner. That is what I want. That's the, that's the cherry on top of my cake. This, this empress already has their cake, okay? This empress already has their cake. They just want the cherry. They just want the freaking cherry and the buttercream frosting. That's all they want. <laughs> that's all they want. So I want the empress in reverse. Oh, see, yeah, page of swords in reverse. They don't feel like they're gonna get it. They're not trusting. Oh, they're not trusting. They're not trusting they can get it. So I about the Empress in reverse. Oh, what did I say about the Knights? Knight of Cups in reverse though. Pisces energy could also be water or fire. Yeah, they feel like this. They feel like their perfect partner in business or relationships or romance is never going to come in. That's how they're feeling. They're like, I know what I want, but they're like, is it even possible? Tell about the Empress in reverse. Overall energy, Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. This Empress is at the nine for sure. They wanna to get to the 10. They want that cherry, they want that frosting. They want that perfect partner to come in. Emperors, they're just waiting. <laughs> you would make their day if you did it. Uh, but these Emperors are working through uh, self-doubt for some, others obsession, other addictions. But as long as these Emperors understand what it takes to persevere and to have success, which is following love, which is following purpose and listening to inner voice and knowing themselves and knowing what feels right and how to follow feeling and intuition by trusting that and coming into this em Empress and pitching whatever it is they got to pitch, this Empress will also need to realize that they have to trust that they can actually have what it is they seek, which is happiness and love and having the cherry and the buttercream frosting. Now let's get some advice and then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> Short reading ended up being a long reading. <laughs> Any advice from my Torians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Torians Aye. regarding this spread? A Queen of Wands to the King of Wands, an Empress to the Emperor. Very attractive people, by the way. I mean, a King of Wands with a Queen of Wands and Emperor and Empress, that's a hell of a lot of attraction. Emperors and Empresses are already attractive as it is. Then you have the sexiest court cards attached to them as a true pair. That's a lot of heat. I'm just saying, that's a lot of heat. Also a lot of creative energy. A lot of creative manifestation uh, capability as well. Whoever this is for, you two can build some amazing shit. Just say. Any advice from my Torians regarding this spread? Because I know I got some emperors watching. I do got men that watch me who have ma who are masculine dominant. I do have them watching me, and also females who are who are masculine dominant as well. Any advice from my Tauruses regarding this spread? Any advice for my Taurians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Taurians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Taurians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Taurians? Ooh, I like it. Cat spirit, claim your independence. 13 breaking down to a four. Stability here. This is interesting. I feel like it's about confidence first and foremost. Oh my God, and I've never noticed those eyes. Do you see those eyes? The blue and the red. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, it's like, ah. <laughs> the red and the blue. Fire, water, masculine, feminine, counterpart energies. This is interesting. I, I feel like this is advice for, for both. Like emperors, like I said, working through that ego healing, for some working through obsession, others working through addictions, to get away from any codependency. The devil is codependent energy, like I said, right? Getting rid of that codependent energy for the emperors here, to be ready, to be ready for this, to come in with this, to come in in the right way with this as well. Empresses, you gotta work on your trust. Sorry, it's just true. Having mistrust, it doesn't come from codependency. It, 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 it comes from having your trust broken, okay? It comes from having your trust broken many a times or suffering from abuse many a time. Um, but empresses, you got to work on that while they work on their codependency, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Also notice, noticing more heart chakra energy. You know, it's interesting. I feel like the masculines here, the emperors, 
are in a lot of sacral root energy, and I feel like the empresses are in a lot of um, heart chakra energy. Any other advice from my Taurians regarding this spread? Ooh. Ooh. Moth spirit, surrender now. 39, breaking down to a three. We got a three and a four, so we have progression here. Moth spirit is exactly how it sounds. It's about giving in to what needs to be given into. Acceptance. Acceptance. Once the emperor and the empress both accept whatever issues they kind of got going on as far as like self-doubt or obsession, addiction for my emperors, mistrust for my empresses, surrendering to being independent and being strong and working through those issues will bring these two together a lot faster. You know, I'm also getting this energy of like letting go too with surrender. Letting go of expectations. Letting go of expectations. I feel like that's more for my empresses. Both. Okay, fine. My spirit, spirit just said both. For both. But letting go of expectations here will also make you a hell of a lot more sane. Okay? Make you, make you feel a lot less stressed out. Any other advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Tauruses? Ooh. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. 56 breaking down to an 11. This is manifesting shit. Making shit happen. Making that pitch go right, Tauruses, emperors. Any other advice? Ha! <laughs> Sorry. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. This is the full card for me in this deck. This is literally jumping in with blind faith and trusting. Trusting it's the right way to go because it feels right. Even if you don't know what's going to happen, it feels right. Very important, guys. Any other advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Oh, that's it on the bottom of the deck. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> what feels good? What feels good? What feels like home? Damn it. <laughs> it made a second video. I'm going to have to stitch it. Wombat spirit, be at home. 68, what does that break down to? Wait a minute. Why can't I do math right now? Why can't I do math right now? That's freaking me out. Um, 15, 14, a five, a five. So change and transformation, changing those things about yourself, about your trust issues, your codependency issues, some ego healing work, some obsessive issues that gotta be taken care of and learning to trust and learning that whatever feels good, whatever feels comfortable, whatever feels like you're at home is exactly where you're supposed to be. I love it. And for some, this really is about building a home. For some, this is really about building a home. A king has built his castle or whatever it was. I like forgot already, but <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, Taurus, this is a beautiful ass reading. <laughs> this is seriously a beautiful ass reading. I'm like, I'm so happy that I, I actually w was able to do this one today. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Taurus. Namaste.